Hey, how's it going? Spy here with another Scrap Mechanic Mini City Build episode. So last episode we checked out the little miniature gas bar here and you guys came up with some pretty amazing names for it. And one of the most posted ones that I have seen in the comments was Gas Guys. So we are going to be calling this little gas station the Gas Guys Gas Bar. Works for me and I really like it. Anyways, in this episode we got something pretty massive to showcase. Look at that. Now I know what you guys are saying, that isn't very small. That is because that is a grocery super center. Look at that. That's pretty big. It's bigger than I intended, but it works out pretty well because you guys will see in a second. If we go around the back here, you guys will see why. So back here, what we have is a loading bay. This is where the trucks pull in with the trailers so that the grocery store can unload the stock that they ordered for the store itself and then the trucks could drive away when it is empty yeah this this whole area here probably made the store a little way too big but anyways it is a super center so um i, I guess that's justified sh sh sure let's go with that so we're gonna be heading into the store here first thing and then we are going to be testing out one of the cargo trucks. It's way over there, way over there. And there is another little addition that I will show you guys in a second for the road. But anyways, let's check out the store first thing. We're going to head inside. I actually got some automatic doors here. They don't work the best, but you guys will see. There we go. They open like that and then they close. So I kind of had to add a little indent here for them to open. It wasn't a very big deal. It, it works pretty well. Look at that. Pretty cool. And then it closes after about 0.7 seconds. There we go. So inside here, we got the grocery store. I wasn't sure about colors, but I really like the look of older grocery stores with the yellowish tan color floor there. But yeah. Anyways, over here, what we have is the cart area. This is where people get their shopping carts. Of course, it is blue. The, the shopping carts are blue. <laughs> And we just grab from here, and then we put them back when we're done. These actually move too, so you watch. Pretty cool. Oh, I messed that up. I'm j I'm just I'm just breaking everything now. Um, I'd be I, I'd be fired so fast. There we go. <laughs> sure, let's go with that. Okay, so inside here we have the little customer service area. This is where uh, the store specialists would sit for helping customers and I guess they have these little cash registers as well for checking out items and then over here we got the three registers only three because that's all I could really fit <laughs> so here we we just got the conveyor belt it doesn't actually work but it is pretty cool if you guys take a look at the all the bearings in here there's actually not that many but once we bring the truck over, it will start to drop in frames quite a bit, but that's not a very big problem. So in our store here, we got a bunch of shelves here with items on it. I have no clue what some of these items are, but I just started throwing random stuff on them because <laughs> I didn't really have much to go with. We got we got ducks, of course. That That's not a spy cake blue duck. That, that, that's that blue. Don't get excited. Don't get excited. We got some other colored ducks here. I guess that's where the spy cake's blue duck would be, but it's out of stock. It's... It, it's Sold out. It's sold out. So, yeah. Sorry, guys. And then, of course, we got some random stuff. We got mugs. We got uh, cereals and foods. Yeah, sure, sure. Tote bot heads. Pillows. Everything like that. We just got a bunch of items everywhere. And over here, we actually got like a little spill. I just put these cones here just to warn people that there's a spill. And then um, over here, we got the freezer area. Nothing in them. It's empty. I wasn't sure what I should have put in here. I guess I could have probably put cucumbers or something. I think that would have made sense. I don't know. I don't know. And then back here, what we have is the bathroom. The bathroom is a little cramped. This is as big as I can make it, though. We got a hand dryer here. We got the sinks and the mirror. And we got the bathroom stalls. There's, there's no one in here, so don't worry. There's no way to open these, though. I was trying to use as little bearings as possible. I might make one open up, though. But for now, I think that is fine. I'm stuck in here. I'm... I'm stuck. There we go. That works. And we got a mop bucket with a mop. Anyways, let's go back out here. There we go. That's the bathroom. And that is the main floor for the grocery store. So back here, 
This is the back room where we have all our stock that we are storing. So back here, we got a bunch of shelves as well, but this is for storage, like I said. Pretty straightforward, big boxes of oranges <laughs> and fruits and vegetables. And then we just got general stock. It's actually pretty empty. In normal stores, these would usually be pretty full or there would be pallets all over the place actually. And back here we got the receiving area. This is where we receive items from trucks. This is one of the loading bays. Look at that. Pretty cool. But anyways, that is pretty much it for the back here. I wasn't sure what else I could really add back here. Um, I'm missing some paint in certain spots, but that's not a very big problem. There we go. And then we got the door here that leads out to the back so that the trucker can come in through this way if you really wanted. I didn't add a door, but I'm, I might add a fake one here. There we go. That works pretty well. But anyways, now that is pretty much it for the grocery store here. Um, this trailer here actually works, as you guys can see. We can come grab it with a truck if we wanted. But anyways, let's head over to our semi over there with the trailer. We're going to attach the trailer to the truck, drive over here, and try backing up into the loading bay. That's going to be really fun and horrible at the same time because I can't back up these trailers. <laughs> I'm horrible at it. Okay, let's hop in our truck here. There we go. We're going to press 4 to open up the latch at the back there, and we're going to try to attach this trailer. Oh, look at that. First try, guys. First try. Okay. Hook it on. Let's get out. And let's press this to lift the little foot there. So this is the same truck as last episode. This is Callum's truck. I modified it quite a bit more since the last episode. It looks more like a traditional semi without the sleeper cabinet. But anyways, let's hop in here and take this over to the grocery store. All right. So one of the other big changes was I added double lane roads here on each side. It's like a little highway and there's traffic lights here. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to put on that side yet of the city, but this is more like for trucks coming in and out of the city. Look at that. Pretty cool. We don't have any um, turning lanes though, which is kind of a problem for this truck. Um, we could turn right because it's red. There we go. And yeah, a sharp turn, a really, a really sharp turn. Look at that. Yeah. See what I mean? Horrible at driving these things. Okay. But anyways, we're going to turn left here and we're going to go park this in the loading bay. Okay. So here we are. Um, kind of took the turn a little too late. But we're just going to pull up here. We got this little parking area here. And this is where it gets tough, guys. I can't back up trailers at all. And then we turn sharp. And straighten out again. This, this is the problem. It's really hard to drive trucks and trailers in-game. Okay. There we go. Make sure not to hit the other trailer. And we got to kind of get it in between those yellow lines there. I think we kind of did it. <laughs> Let's straighten out a bit. There we go. Now we're perfectly straight. We just got to keep it straight. <laughs> and back it right up in between those yellow lines. And then we should be good. It's really difficult, especially in scrap mechanic where the... Oh. Well, see what I mean? It was kind of going good. And then my tires lost traction and then it got traction again. There we go. Finally, we made it. Okay, so we can hop out here. There we go. Then we're gonna lift the trailer up like this. Detach trailer. Oh, that's the horn. And we're gonna go. And we left the trailer there. We're just gonna park this truck somewhere and let the employees unload the truck for us. And then we'll come back for another time. Okay, we'll park the truck here. <laughs> this truck is so funny looking. It's a little too short, but it looks good at least. Let's go over to the loading bay here. We're going to go up over here. We're going to press this button to open up the loading bay. And then we're going to go back outside here. And we are going to press this button right here to open up the trailer. Look at that. Perfect. And now we can unload the stock from there with like a pallet jack or something. 
Even though our palettes there are pretty basic and untraditional. But whatever. There we go. We got our truck parked here at receiving. And the receiver can get the stuff out of the truck. And that is pretty much it there. And then we can close this back up. Oh, wait, wait, oh, don't do that. Don't do that. We're going to go over here, press this, and then go back in. And then press this. <laughs> there we go. So it's not as I envisioned, but it still works pretty well. I would have had this ramp a little lower, but uh, it's actually on the ground as far as I can go. But anyways, there we go. Let's go get our truck again, attach it, and then drive off. Hey, here we go. Open up our little fifth wheel there. And then just back the truck up. This is probably the easiest part. Backing the trailer up is the tough part. And there we go. Awesome. And then we just hop out. Then we press this button. There we go. Hop back in the truck. And we are good to go. Look at that. Awesome. So, now we could go park this somewhere else. And that is pretty much it. I don't have a truck stop yet. I can't really park this there. But hopefully I'll have a, a truck stop in the future. But anyways guys, that is pretty much it for this episode. But if you have any suggestions at all for future builds, let me know in the comments. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this episode. I'm trying to fiddle with my microphone quite a bit because um, my environment's a little different. So I don't have any echo anymore. So I got to change the equalization a little bit. So... If you guys have any feedback on that as well, let me know. But anyways, guys, that is pretty much it for this episode. So if you enjoyed, let me know in the comments. And thank you guys for watching and subscribing. And remember, stay sweet. Bye.